Some of you may have realized that when looking at the printer's manuscript for the Book of Mormon, the witnesses' names are all signed by Oliver Cowdery. The three and eight witnesses are all in Oliver Cowdery's handwriting. Knowing this, one might ask, does the original manuscript for the Book of Mormon have the original witness statements included? Like with their actual signatures. Despite promises to do so, the Joseph Smith Papers Project has not included the original manuscript on the website. So last week, I spent $100 to get this question answered. And I was very disappointed. Wasted all that money. But this is what I did find. So here's my copy of Volume 5 of Revelations and Translations, which is the original manuscript for the Book of Mormon. Of the nearly 500 pages that were placed in the Nauvoo House Cornerstone, portions of 232 pages survive, amounting to roughly 28% of the text. On the 11th of June, 1829, Joseph Smith secured a copyright for the work. And the title page was published in a Palmyre newspaper, The Wayne Centennial. It references the three witnesses and the eight witnesses. Formal statements that recorded the experience and bore the name of all 11 men were published in the Book of Mormon. And for the footnote, it says, The statements of the three witnesses and the eight witnesses, as found in the printer's manuscript, contain signatures copied by Cowdery. Nowhere does it mention the whereabouts for the original statement with the actual signatures on them. Nowhere. Were the witness statements destroyed? Does the church have them? If they were destroyed, why doesn't the church just say so? And if the church has it, why don't they publish it? Also, of course, the witness statements were not any part of the translation process. Although they were published at the end of the Book of Mormon, they were a wholly separate document. Much like the copyright for the Book of Mormon, which is still in great shape today. So, where are the original witness statements with their actual signatures?